Hey everyone, and welcome to my Minecraft. So, this is a, a new world for us. Uh, we also did add-ons. So, we have a few things here. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be... A little bit different here but so we've got Phoenix we've got Augustus we've got King and we've got Vampy and we started ourselves in a seed here where there is a village already put together um, to kind of get us going it's just gonna be an add-on world it's not gonna be like all the other worlds um, that we had been in prior so it's gonna be just something a little bit more unique and new uh for us to try out just something a little bit different i'm gonna try and get myself in here and find a bed though because gonna need that um but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and get to work around here and we're gonna see what we can't accomplish to get things started one thing about Going into a predetermined um, area is you also have to pay attention to the landscape. Um, one thing that we ran into in this spawn, get my sword handy here, is that there is a lot of overhang. As you can see, a lot of it's been flattened out. That's That was me um, because we had lost almost every single villager. Um, so it was a great spawn, except for the dark patches that caused everything to go away. Um, so this spawn, I can share the seed with you guys in the comment section. It was pretty decent. It looks like someone... Okay. Um, it was a pretty decent one. Like there's still a mob down there. Um, had a nice little village there, had something here. There's also one around the corner, uh, our little house around the corner. Um, and I had quite a bit of villagers, um, and a nice, huge setup, honestly. It, it's been, it's pretty good, um, for a starting area but if you're gonna be using this one you're gonna have to do a lot of cutting back like here's another area that i had to cut back on because the mobs were just spawning even in daylight uh even with things torched up it was just really weird um and they were killing all of the villagers um there was a nice layout that house up there is currently mine and Augustus's, um, but there's plenty of things around here, so we, we've got ourselves a little person spawner here, or creator, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then, of course, I've got my cows and my sheep. Um, probably I'm going to start cutting back on them just a little bit, but I need the... Uh, leather for books so it's also a good spawn because we're right there uh you can see pillager outpost right up over the hill which was nice um so that except for you know the chance of spawning our raid uh but we've been we've all been pretty good about keeping that at bay um so far so of course, we've got a little furnace system going. Uh, I got a nice, a size garden going. Everybody, and the, we're not staying here. This is only gonna. This is just spawn. This is a quick fix housing. You know that kind of an area, beginner housing and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> but just over there, we're gonna be making something. Um, and it's called the Spark Portal. 
uh, basically we'll be able to spawn in from really anywhere. We're not going to have to do the nether hub anymore. Um, supposed to not have to. So we'll see. We haven't gotten it set up yet. So we're still working out the kinks and trying to figure things out. But yeah, so that's one thing um, that we've been working on. Uh, or working with. And then also I made a nice little mob proof fishing area, which was nice. Uh, managed to get that. So if you know anything about the fishing, then you know that's a decent start there. Um, and yes, I'm eating carrots. I know I normally eat potatoes. I actually have potatoes in the furnace in there. Um, so yeah, get this up out of here. So another thing that we did uh, to make things a little bit easier when we have like that one person that just will not go to sleep. I'm going to go in here for safety reasons. Uh, but when you have that one person that just, you're like, hey, go to sleep. Hey, we're in a dangerous spot. Can you please go to sleep? And they're just not going to sleep. So the, when you do the add-on, the hiker's friend, um, you can kind of look through here. It's got five new items type, which you can use. Um, there we go. You could take any bed of any color and change it into a sleeping bag. You also can use a lantern now. Um... Apparently you can make a camping chair, and these are the ingredients that you would need for the camping chair. Um, you can also use an ice pick, and you can have yourself a walking stick. So just, you know, random things that you would think of for going camping, etc. Um, so that's... One of the add-ons that we did, and this is completely out of our norm. We normally don't do these, like, cheats and things, but we figured we'd give it a shot. Um, so this is the sleeping bag. If it is daytime and you go to sleep, get the little sound effects, it becomes nighttime. And then you sleep again, and it's not daytime. So that helps when you have that one person that's online that just doesn't want to go to sleep. Um, which is the main reason why we got that add-on to begin with. Um, because of that. And every time I log in, for some odd reason, I have a new guidebook. So don't mind the fact that there's uh, two of them here. Um... Yes, that that's awesome. Okay, so you can create 16 different colors of portals. Use them to easily teleport around your world. Works across all dimensions. Portals of the same color link to each other. So if you have a portal that leads to your place, it has to be your only color. No one else can use that color. Um, so yeah. And you can flip the pages and look through on how to build each portal color. Um, it talks about portal linking and how everything can go together. Like it's got its own little you know thing. Alright, and then you R2 and get the book back in my inventory so I can put it here. Um, then another thing is the gravestone add-on. Um, basically, the gravestone that you guys saw below, it says, When you die, a gravestone will appear at your death spot, safeguarding your items upon your respawn, etc. Um, this is, you know, something that will help in the event of, you know, hey, you're down mining and... 
you no longer have to worry about resetting the world because you lost all of your stuff and it took you hours to get it. It's now going to be safeguarded in a gravestone. I, I have yet to have a gravestone made for me. Um, I think I might be the only one that hasn't died yet. I think Vampy was also going, but I don't know if she's died or not because I haven't been online with her much. Now, I know that Augustus has died a couple of times, Phoenix has died a couple of times, and King has died a couple of times. Well, a handful of times. We'll we'll just leave it at that. Um, but we do have other people that are going to be joining, so it's going to be kind of fun seeing all the deaths holding in. Um, so the next one that we have is this guidebook. Um, this is for a world utilities add-on. Uh, it's got a vein miner, uh, so you can easily click any ore, and whatever ore is attached to that ore um, of the same light color, it will mine it all. Um, so there's no more, you know, hey, this is a large area of coal, it's going to take me, you know, 20 to 30 blocks worth of hitting before I can break it all. No, you only have to break one. Uh, same thing for the tree. Uh, explosive pickaxe is when you're just trying to destroy things. Uh, you can use it, and boom. Uh, multi-block pickaxe, which is one that we're all shooting for getting, um, is something pretty good. Uh, breaks everything in multitudes, like square blocks, uh, chunk breaking, basically. Um, and then end frame, if you feel like moving the end thing to wherever, you can do it. Um, so you don't have to keep trudging through and trying to find where the end is. You can relocate it where you want it to be, which is pretty neat. Uh, again, we don't normally do these kinds of things, so this is something new. Um, and then there's the Omni tool. I haven't used it much. Which one is this one? Okay, yeah. Optimize your inventory space. Uh, you could break pretty much any tool or anything with this item. Uh, it also has a Fortune 3 ability. Um, so that's pretty neat. Okay, and then you have the Spawner Wrench. Uh, you can interact with the spawner to drop it on the ground, allowing you to relocate it as needed. So this is one thing that we're going to use uh, to make um, different mob spawners more specific, rather than just creating a general, you know, world mob spawner kind of thing. And then we have the void chest. Um... Instead of having to do, like, an auto trash can or anything like that, uh, this is basically an item that will help delete items. So you got to make sure what you put in here, because once it's deleted, it's gone. Uh, there is no getting it back. So it's just something to think about if you were to decide to use this. Um, now, Phoenix already has the pickaxe thing. I have the tree capacitor and I didn't mean to kick it up there. See it activates and you can deactivate it. So you don't always like just because you have the item does not mean that every time that you hit something it's gonna do it. You have to make sure that it's active. Um now does it work on all wood that's been done before? No. Um you could break any block, and it's not going to do a single thing with it active. Now, with it active, I can go ahead and go down here. So I can kind of just show you guys really quickly what this tool is capable of. And it's pretty neat. So basically, you would come up to any tree... And you've got all of that tree's wood in two seconds. So, right now, kicking back all of the uh, jungle trees has been pretty easy. Um, oak trees, 
you are no longer stressing yourself because that oak tree has a million different blocks in every which direction. It's just, you know, boom. One break of a block and you're done. So I could clear that forest over there in just a matter of seconds if I really needed to. Um, right now I'm trying to save inventory space because this is... Uh, just spawn. This is not our final destination place. Um, let me make sure I turn that back off. But it's it's not what we're going to be settling in. So I don't want to overdo our inventory. Um, so that's something that we're working with right now. We do already have a lot that's building up here. And it's mostly because I keep farming. I don't know how to stop myself. It's like an addiction, I swear. Um, but I did make all of these beds, so everybody's gonna have plenty ample beds. I am gonna also go down and get some more wool here in a little bit. Um, and yeah, this is a lot of things that I've gotten from fishing already. This is from Phoenix. He gave them because he doesn't do redstoning. We do. Um, I've already gotten some books from fishing. I've gotten a couple of bows. Um, so it's been nice, um, getting things going and getting things started. Um, so yeah, I keep saying um, and I'm not trying to, I promise. But that's kind of where we're sitting at, um, to start with. It's any normal, you know, Minecraft start, it's... You've got your builds, you've got everyone trying to find their places, you've got people dying left and right, and I already have been, uh, you know, attacked by uh, pillagers. That was uh, fun, because we don't have windows and stuff set up yet, so they uh, were shooting me through here, and I had to hide and scream for help. That was fun. Um... But yeah, so let me go ahead and get these out of here. Because I really, I don't know, I'm not a carrot person. I like my potatoes. And I already made myself a clock, as you guys can see. Uh, but yeah. So we're going to keep going on here. I think Augustus wants to be able to make the portal hub. I think I might. Because. I might go out and go ahead and try and find us a permanent home. Something I can start setting up, and by the time that he gets to me, after he's done, that's where he wants to do the uh, portal hub down over there, um, inside that little canyon there. So I think I might start an adventure. Oh, I haven't, I haven't decided yet. Still trying to piece things together. Maybe I'll talk with Augustus and see what he thinks first and go from there. So, but I wanted to kind of get this beginning a little bit done here so you guys can see what we're working with. See the, um, somewhat of a starter base house. <laughs> and, uh, see what everyone else is working with. Most everyone else hasn't really built their own place. They've just kind of utilized what's already been done. I didn't mean to hurt myself there. Um, it does look like Vampy may have built something down there for herself and gotten some animals together. But, we'll see. Anyways, um, yeah. On that note, I will see you guys in the next video, please do not forget to like and subscribe so I can start getting my subscriber numbers up. I would greatly appreciate it. Bye!